Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing fine. It's Ken here with another lantern video. Look what I got today. Pritchard Strong Tiger Lantern. That's right, this is a tiger. Ironically, it's been sitting in my garage since uh, a little after the purchase date. I, I purchased this February 23rd, 2021. If that happens to ring a bell to anybody, it's ironically the day that Tiger Woods crashed his car. That's right, he crashed his car. A little later on that day, I was looking through eBay and I saw a Tiger Lantern and I figure, hey, why no better time to buy a Tiger? But yeah, so I had this sitting in my garage for since a couple weeks after that, since I got it. Really nice lantern, but really crappy, crappy paint job. It's got some, it's, it's gray paint on top of what looks like red underneath of it. So it's like double coated and it's just very blotchy and I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip it down and I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna try something that I never tried before. Um, I'm hearing that you can strip paint off with oven cleaner. So yeah, so I figured why not? This is just dollar store brand oven cleaner and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try something a little different on this and see what happens. So. Uh, yeah, maybe it'll work a little better for me. That's why I'm outside. Uh, that noise you hear in the background is just my air conditioning unit. But uh, yeah, why don't we uh, give us a shot? I'm gonna take the globe out, take the burner out, take the cap off, I'll strip it all down. And then, uh, let's see, let me get it set up here. Very nice globe. The globe has got a can't see it, but it's got a Circle K uh, embossed in it. Uh, I'm gonna have to research that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's really cool. And the cap is free. The cap comes right off. I gotta make sure I don't lose that. That's that's a good one. And uh, the cone and burner, I do believe, are free. And that, I don't know if that's I should put a magnet on it. I don't know if it's gonna be brass or not. I, I doubt it. it. Looks like it's but uh yeah so there we go oh, somebody stuck into somebody stuck a brand new wick in there so I got a brand new wick so it's ready to burn obviously but the inside looks fairly fairly decent it's got some dust some stuff around there but yeah I mean it's solid it looks it looks solid looks like I won't have to do all that much to it so what I do is I use a a Sterilite or like a Rubbermaid container and what I usually end up doing with my paint stripper is I usually just I generally use the orange uh, citrus strip which is uh, fairly safe I don't really like the uh, the other stuff because it kind of splatters on you and it burns and, and you gotta wear gloves and so forth and so that's why I'm gonna try something to, but you know but this be, be that as it may, the citrus stuff works fairly well, but it, it takes its time and, and it's a lot of process. You got to keep repeating and repeating. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try soaking this baby down with, uh, with oven cleaner. Put the lid on it, seal it up for maybe a half hour, and uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, why don't we get started here? I'll try to keep my face out of the fumes, but eh, might as well get the other side while we can. All right, why don't we just go ahead and leave it like that? Put the lid on it, cover it up. And we'll be back in a few minutes to see what it does. Okay, so about 10 minutes have elapsed. I just read the can. It says actually uh, 5 to 15 minutes you're supposed to let this stuff work for. So we'll take it at 10. We'll take a peek and we'll see if it's even doing anything. We'll see what we got. Uh, wow, well, I got stains in the bottom of the bin there. So... Yeah, I guess it took something off. Uh, let's hit it with a, a brush here. Oh, look at that. I was right. See that red paint underneath? There is red paint underneath of this. 
Wow, so okay, we, so we got two layers of paint to get through. All right, well, that's not a good sign. You know what happens with the red paint, but, <laughs> but the gray paint is coming off. So, now I don't know if it's modern red paint or antique red paint. If it's, if it's modern red paint, maybe it'll come off just as easy. But, uh, wow, yeah, so it is, it is working. Look at that. See all that red underneath. Okay, wow, yeah, look at that. Surprisingly enough. So, no need to bore you guys anymore with this, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to just take my time and scrub, scrub, scrub. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep working at it. And uh, we'll do another video on when I get this thing done. And uh, But looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool lantern. So, uh, yeah. Richard Strong Tiger. So let me get back to work and I'll see you guys real soon with another video. Thanks so much everybody. Bye bye.